Valley, and I'm here to talk about an organization called VITA. So VITA stands for Volunteer Initiatives Domestic and Abroad, and also if you speak a minute amount of Spanish, it also means life. So our organization, which was formerly known as Timmy Global Health, so the purpose of our organization is helping to um, create more advocacy and help with uh, health disparities, mainly caused by poverty on a domestic basis and also so one of the main things is, is that we have just rebranded with our branding name. And so this we are talking a little bit about why we rebranded. So some of the things that we were not supportive of with our previous organization, we have uh, disbanded from Timmy as, as a national organization and moved towards our own um, individual one on just IUPUI campus, which we have decided to see this. So now, as I previously mentioned, VITA is focusing on life as a Spanish and then also our volunteer initiatives on our local scale and then also on a more international basis. So we're advocating, fundraising, and serving to improve the health care and, um, and help to advocate for um, how these disparities happen and how health as a more holistic view is affected. So also we're helping to develop leaders especially because our organization is geared more towards pre-professional students. Um, it's not just for that. Um, a lot of people can find the disparities amongst health a very interesting cause, especially because how it uniquely is affected uh, by all other aspects of living. Uh, so I think that's a very unique opportunity, and I think VITA has allowed us to um, look at some of these disparities and become more uh, focused on how education and um, different disparities amongst racial groups may affect overall health in societies. Um, we have now been able to move towards multiple international partners. Uh, one of our newest ones that we're excited about uh, is going to be Seven Elements, uh, which is an international organization that also works with local medical brigades to allow us to work in other countries. And these are some of our more um, local initiatives that we actually are allowing anyone to help out with, or we would prefer members, but it's important also and you can reach out to any of them. Uh, kindred hospice care, so working with end-of-life care, which is an important component uh, for so many people. Indy Reads, which is again working more towards on our whole humanitarian approach to health uh, by working towards education, improving that within um, maybe lower income areas. Goal, which is a program that focuses on health within Indianapolis schools nutrition, exercise, and then our domestic service trip that we have going on later this year. Do you ever find yourself wondering about systematic and persistent global issues such as climate change, inequality, shortage of food, and other epidemics? The world today is affected by many threats, and we at Seven Elements prepare the next generation's leaders to find real solutions and have real experiences necessary to make an effective change. Seven Elements is not just a service learning organization. Seven Elements is a development organization that allows you to look at the world through a unique set of lenses. Participants will learn about international development, human security issues, developing projects and interventions with local communities, and you will return to your local community changed, motivated, to continue making positive changes throughout the world. If you want to change, not just within yourself, but also to help make the world a more equitable place, join us at Seven Elements. One way you can do this is to start a chapter at your college. You will be able to choose the curriculum you want to specialize in.
Um, if you're interested in any of this, we do have an upcoming members meeting at 7.30. Our next one is November 14th, and then we also have one on December 5th. Uh, it, like I said, if you're pre-professional, it may sound extremely interesting, but it also is good for anyone that is focused on any disparities that may affect health, which is all disparities, in my personal opinion. And then also, if you, another little shout out, if you need some surface hours, we have the Monumental Marathon this Saturday that we are helping with, we are looking to have more volunteers for. Uh, this the information will be from, we will be working from 6 a.m. to 3.30, and we will sign off on service hours, and you do get a free shirt, so I love free clothes personally. And then the last one is we have our glow dance, which is for all of IUPUI students on November 9th from 7 to 10, and 4 or 5 at the Campus Center. Um, it's just a good time to come out, um, have a party, enjoy black lights, and maybe get to know a little bit more about our organization. Great, thank you guys so much.